Hello, hello, welcome to day two. So today we're going to be talking about the get, get request node. <coughs> so today we're going to be talking about the get request node. This lets you to bring in data from the web. So we go to the node repository and search for get and it's the first one, drag it on here. So there are some nice options and settings here for you. If you're using an API, which you have a key, you're gonna have your key and your URL, but you can also put in some authentication information here as well. And if you need to send headers, you can do that here too. So in here, you put in your URL. I'm just using the public API, which gives us the information for the US population for the past couple of years. You can set a delay between consecutive requests to avoid server overload, or if you have limits, you can also restrict the concurrency so you can disallow two trying to go at the same time. You can set a timeout and here you specify the body column. So if you actually have more than one URL, then this node can actually take an incoming data. So you'd connect that to here and then here you select URL column to indicate where the URL is from your is located in your incoming data i do have a good example of this which i made for a different video so i'm gonna put the link to that video in the comment section and you can see exactly how that works one more thing i really want to show you which i think is super cool is the error handling section now if you make a request and you get a, an error code usually it's one of these things so you can actually say that if you get an, a response with an error code for the server side errors for instance it should fail the execution you can also do the same thing for connection problem issues or for client side errors. Let's say if you, for, if you forget to actually put in your API key, which is something I forget all the time, um, you, can, <laughs> you can have it fail for any of these specific kind of errors. And if there's a rate limit error, you can actually pause and have it try again after a certain time, which you would know based on how many requests you're allowed to make in, in a given time period. So we have our URL in here, which connects to this population um, API. And now we can just run this. It's pretty fast. It's giving us some data. Now, looking at this, it's not so nice to read. So I'm just going to sneak in one more node because I think these two go hand in hand. So I'm just going to show you that really quickly. This is the JSON to table node, and it makes your your data that you get from your get node look much, much better. So I'm just gonna run this really quick. Now you can see it's more readable. Now for this, you'll probably want it to look, you know, vertical, not horizontal. So you would like, you would want all your information to be in one, in one column, but uh, that's transformation. And that's really something for other nodes. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of day two, and I shall see you in day three. Goodbye.